Hi. In the winter, bears do something that is kind of like sleeping. It's a little bit different, but they basically lie down, slow their breathing and their heart rate, go into something that's kind of like sleep, but it lasts for the whole winter. It's called hibernation. We're going to do a hibernating bear craft. You will need paper, scissors, glue, markers, black pipe cleaner, brown also works, cotton balls, brown construction paper. I use just an old bag. Take the bag or your construction paper and rip it into small pieces, probably about the size of your thumbs if you have small thumbs. Mine were about that big, kind of like the size of a nickel, and some are quarter size. But see how they're all different shapes? As long as I ripped all the way around, it looked kind of like a rock, because ro lots of rocks don't have that nice straight edge. But some rocks do. So you can leave some nice straight edges too. Arrange the rocks into a cave. I made a bottom layer. And then I came up like a curve to be the top of my cave. Next, now you can glue these on right now. So you can use school glue or a glue stick and just glue these on and they'll stick just like that. Then take a pipe cleaner and cut it in half. So I fold mine to get two equal pieces. I fold mine and then I cut it right where the bend is. That'll give me a half. See this right here is my half a pipe cleaner. Then I'm gonna take that half a pipe cleaner. So this is my half pipe cleaner again. And I'm going to bend that folded in half again and get another half from there. So this is my even smaller piece. Oops. But I'll still have a bigger piece because this guy had two halves. So now I want to take my half a pipe cleaner, the one piece that I have that's still the size of a half, and my half of a half, it's called a quarter, my quarter pipe cleaner, and fold both of those into round pieces. It will look like this. Two little circles. Put one circle on the bottom and one circle resting beside it. So one circle is going to be the body and one circle is going to be the head. Now, if you have liquid school glue, that works well to glue these pieces down. You can see here I use tape. Tape doesn't work so well, but it's better than nothing. So if you have tape, you can use tape too. Then you wanna put little ovals for the legs. So ovals, they look like this here. I put two little ones for my legs and then I put two even smaller ones for the nose and the tail. I colored in my body black and then I used a little curved brown line for the eyes, a little brown dot for the nose, and because I wanted to still be able to see my bear's eyes and nose, instead of coloring it black, I used gray. It's pretty close to black but it let me still see the brown come through. Then I added some Z's to make it look like it's it's sleeping or it's not sleeping it's hibernating next i took my cotton balls i put some on the ground to be snow and the snow is covering the top of the cave too and then i cut them into little pieces to be snowflakes falling down and that is how you make a hibernating bear have fun